Hi, it's Mike here. Um, we've had a lot of requests on our YouTube account on how to do the bullet hits and the muzzle flashes. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Well, at first, you're going to need an old shirt that you don't mind getting cut up. Right, you're also going to need one of these. This is a pesticide spray bottle. It does. It comes all in different sizes, but it's preferred to get the bigger one, as it has more power. What well, you're also going to need uh, a 10 foot long roll of hose. We um, we got ours from B and Q, and we we've used other hoses, but we found this is the best because you can see through it, and you can't really see it through the shirt when you put it in. Uh, it's flat and flexible, and you can also see the amount of blood you put in the end when you stuff it to the body. Well, now obviously, when you buy your hose, you're going to have two ends that look like this. But for the effect to work, you're going to need to plug up one of the ends, preferably with a stone or with a bit of blue tack. And uh, then we've just wrapped a bit of duct tape around the top, so it's just a bit more secure. And then you're going to need to uh, either burn or drill a hole about two inches down. And you should be able to fit the tip of your little finger in there. Right, the next step is, you're going to, to take your shirt off, turn it inside out, and you're going to want to stick the tape wherever you're going to get shot. Right, now next step is, you're going to want to cut a star shape into the tape that you've just applied to the shirt. It can't be too big or too small. And as you can see, I've just put the shirt back on. And the hole, or the cut, is just visible for the camera to see. Now once you've done that, you need to put a mark where the hole is. Now once you've aligned the hole with the marker, you're going to need to put two horizontal strips of tape across the hose. Then you're going to need to put two vertical strips across the two horizontal. You need to stretch the tape across so it becomes more tighter. We find it useful if you stick a tape across the shoulder. Now this is probably one of the most important steps you're going to need to remember. You need to roll the tape into a loop and stick one on either side. The reason for this is when you stick the shirt down on top of the tape it will stop the movement through either when the act is moving or when the pressure goes off and it will move the hose so it's steady. Next step is you're going to rip off a tiny little bit of the sponge like this, four little bits so you can pack them into the hole so this stops the blood from coming out my best to get a bit of sharp object like that just to press it in a bit right now I've just applied the shirt back on and I've aligned the cut in the shirt to where the hole in the hoses as you can see as we applied the tape earlier it's, mo it's keeping the shirt in place and right I've just got a measurement of blood um, it doesn't really matter how much blood you put in there, you just want, don't want too much or it's just going to be a bloody mess. And once you've got your measurement, you just pour it into the pipe. Right now, what you need to do is get your pump, pump up about 150 times, and you're ready to go. Right now, you're ready to get shot. You must always remember. Hide your hose and the actor who's pressing the pressurised pump. And that's the tutorial. Oh, I got shot! This video is sponsored by Relentless. Copyright infringements.